not me turning into a, a natural blonde. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a wig install. It's been a minute and your girl has been itching to put a new wig on. I just want a new look. I want to reinvent myself once again and I just need a whole new persona, you know? It needs to be giving something new. So <laughs> today's install is going to be with my Yolisa hair wig. Shout out to Yolisa hair for sponsoring today's video. Um, I'm going to be installing this gorgeous 613 blonde 24 inches 180 percent density wig so if you guys want to see how i get the end result because i know y'all seen probably the intro or the thumbnail and your girl look good i don't know how i look yet but i know i look good that makes you keep watching don't forget to click that subscribe button and turn on your post and notifications i love you guys and yeah let's just get right into this video okay so i i just want to say your girl your girl has gotten better at her cornrows, okay, period. Cause y'all, y'all know my braids is not never used to be this cute. Like low key, I would wear my hair like this regularly. I probably just put like maybe like a little bun or something, but like my hair look mad cute. <laughs> oh, prr. so um, I braided my hair down because my hair is getting longer, so I'm not really able to get away with doing a bun anymore underneath my wigs, which is fine. <laughs> On the inside of the wig, you do get a 13 by 4 frontal. Look at that lace. This is nice, transparent lace. Um, it's 24 inches, like I said, 180% density. Look at the, it's the bottom all the way to the top. The wig does feel very, very full. I will be cutting layers into this, which I'm really excited about. Um, they did give me a an elastic band that you could sew into the inside of the wig, so I went ahead and I did that already off camera. So I sewed my band in there, and it's so cute because this band is actually like a little, it's kind of like, you know how bras are, where you, they have this little thing that you pull on to make it looser or tighter? I thought that was really neat, so it can work for obviously multiple different size heads. <laughs> so they have that, and then you have a comb at the nape of the neck, and you have two along the crown. I will be cutting the two along the crown out, just because I feel like it doesn't allow my wig to sit super flat on top of my braids, but that's just me. And then you also have the adjustable straps along the nape of the neck. Inside of your box, you're gonna just get a bunch of different stuff. So there's some scarves in here. This is a bonnet that's very cute. This is a very cute bonnet. I will be wearing this. Um, you get some scars, you get a little headband, they give you lashes of course, um, you got your information cards on how to take care of the wig, and then there's also some wig caps. I need the wig caps, so I'm going to take those out right now. These are the wig caps that I'm using, I'm just going to use one, and put it on my head. I'm going to do my ball cap and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got my bald cap one and glued down, honey. So I want to tint the lace on this wig, and I also want to um, wash it with purple shampoo. So I'm going to wash it with Shimmer Lights shampoo, and I'm going to let it sit. I'm going to very quickly just wash this with purple shampoo so I can take out some of the yellow and make it a bit more icy. I saw this gorgeous install that... Eric and Tay did on Jada, and I'm trying to replicate, I don't know if I'm gonna get the same color, but at least the style and cut of the hair, of the wig. Ugh, I die! Like, I'm trying to replicate this, okay? This is what I'm going for. So, yeah, I'm gonna wash this with purple shampoo, and then I'm gonna take my Bolt Hold Lace Tint in Caramel. I'm gonna tint the lace and just let it sit. I'm gonna do that real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so I tinted the wig. I tinted the lace on the wig and I um, washed the wig with the purple shampoo and honey, I didn't even have to leave it on for 30 minutes. It literally was like 30 seconds. <laughs> um, there was like some areas where I had put more purple shampoo than others, so I have like gray streaks, but it doesn't look bad. It's very icy, I like it. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a little bit of this 
foundation powder. I low-key want some, okay, this is fine. I just wanna put a little bit of powder here before I go in with the glue. I feel like it, my installs look better when I do this. I'm gonna take a little bit of my bronzer from Fenty. That other powder was a benefit. Take a little bit of this. Kind of just marry the two so that I have something closer to my skin tone. Cause I am gonna do my makeup and I know when I do my makeup, I put a lot of bronzer on. So I'm gonna take a little bit of alcohol on a cotton pad right in front of the ball cap. I'm chill anyway, so. My bowl hold, the top broke off. So <laughs> I'm gonna take, there's still like half a bottle in here, but the top just broke. So I'm gonna take this spoolie this is the first layer. Okay, so the issue that I always have <laughs> is the wig not coming forward enough with 13 by fours. Like I need a 13 by six, but I always end up getting a 13 by four. And then I have to like squeeze the wig forward. Make sure that this does not look crazy because this is blonde hair. Cut some tabs just so I can work with sections. Who is she? Who is she? I'm about to do a second layer and then I'm gonna stick it down. Okay, so I put the elastic, I put a new elastic band on just so that this can like fully melt my lace. 
and I blow dried one side and I'm about to blow dry the other. I did put this Kristen S blow dry mist that I got from Target. I'm actually very surprised at um, how little shedding this wig has. Like, I've had wigs that are not even bleach blonde that shed way more than this, so. This is all the hair that I lost, which is really not that big. <laughs> it's not that much. I didn't pluck or tweeze this wig, so this is literally just all the hair that I lost, which is not a lot. So I'm gonna slide this back. I'm gonna take my razors. I'm gonna try not to cut myself. Wow, it's really getting stout. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try and not cut myself and get this lace woof. This is a little like eyebrow razor. Babes, not, not me turning into a, a natural blonde. <laughs> not me turning into a natural blonde. It's giving um, Icelandic uh, princess. It's giving Elsa, or is it giving Anna? Or I think it's giving Elsa. I don't know, I never watched that movie. I'm not a child. Wow, babes. Wow. Look at how close I got it. This is my first time doing this color, you guys. Actually, no, I've done it in a bob before, but I think it was a closure bob. I've never done a frontal and I've never done it this color. That lace tint is perfect. Look at that. Ah! It looks so good. Pretty, pretty, so pretty. Now I need some free spray. <laughs> I ain't got no more free spray. I'm gonna take some of this ORS olive oil gel, glaze and hold. I'm gonna apply it on top and press it into the, the lace of my skin. It's kind of just gonna really like melt, melt it, melt it. This is what I would be doing with the free spray, but I don't have any more free spray, so. You see how it's kind of just like making the very edge of the lace disappear? Guess what we want, girl? Melt the edge of that. I'm going to flat iron this hair. So this is what it looks like before. I'm gonna put a little bit of this BioSilk Light. I'm gonna focus it on the ends though. And then whatever's remaining ooh, on the top. I'm gonna plug in my um, hot comb too because I wanna make sure that I get this part. I'm gonna take my shears and I'm not a hair professional so I don't really know what I'm doing but I'm just gonna be like cutting layers because in that video she has like really PC layers all over her head. She has like a longish layer at the front. It kind of starts, stops right below her chin. Oh, let me bring this down too. Let me start on this side. I always start on my right. I'm just like holding my scissors down at an angle and dragging them down. I just feel like when you cut wigs, like I feel like they look more natural. I feel like when you leave wigs, the, the length that they come and all that, they look really straggly and like wiggy because they're they're not cut by like, perf like I wouldn't say they're cut by hairstylists or like, and I'm not a hairstylist, but I really feel like a lot of wigs can benefit from just a little trim here and there, a layer here and there. It just makes it look better. This is one side versus the other. So it's a little shorter. And I don't know if you can see the layers, but it's a little bit more layered.
I'm about to do my very quick 15 minute beat, my 15 minute glam, and I'll be right back to show you the final look. Okay, you guys, I finished my makeup and my hair. I just went with like a really natural makeup look. I don't know, this is the first time I've ever worn this color, and it's a lot for me, but it's very cute. I like it a lot. I think it's very cute. My curls, low key, they keep dropping, but that's because I don't have any hairspray to put in my um, in my hair, which is kind of unfortunate, but it's okay. Yeah, that's the completed hair. Let me show you from the back. It looks super full, and it has a really nice body. <gasps> and this is with me putting layers in it and cutting it a little bit. Very cute. If you guys enjoyed this Yolisa hair install, then make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up. Down below, go ahead and smash the like button because you love your girl and you got all the way to the end. You can also go ahead and click that subscribe button because we on the way to 100K. We almost there. I think we just hit 92, so we're about 8,000 away from 100K. I'm so ready. Um, and you know, then it's going to be every major milestone after that. Like, we're not stopping at 100K, so make sure you turn on your post notifications because there's a new videos three times a week. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. And last but certainly not least, don't forget you are smart, you are beautiful, and people love you. I love you, and I can't wait to see you on my next upload. Bye.